Every night the dark man stands open. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Emily? What the hell is going on? Where am I? Christ, what the hell was that?
can't go that way. Let them get inside, compare. They're not the good kind. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this? How? The pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150? <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thinking man, compare? Nah, uh, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got for Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while.
I can't go that way. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got... It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. I think it's meant for the talisman. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes.
Sunday, June. showing something. A place? Where is that? Huh. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite? <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you, then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. 
but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Detective Carly, how did you... where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared? No, it's not what you think. Have you... have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something else. with this talisman. I think I can follow Jeremy, the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Teroea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you going to be all right? Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. This talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Teroea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a vow from the wine cellar if you want. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone.
Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, a girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. We can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. I think everything's back to normal here. Emily's here. Emily's here. Like some kind of this must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace book. Huh. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room, but it's broken and missing some pieces. Hmm, I need the key. I'm not gonna walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her uncle. Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Bricklow, 1917. Their settle was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain.
It's wedged shut. Ah! What is going on? Now what do we got here? What happened? Everything's normal again? All right. 